Hey everybody, Dr. Schultz with the Centennial Schultz Clinic in Broomfield, Colorado. Today we're going to be talking about tendonitis versus carpal tunnel syndrome. Our goals today are to understand what tendonitis is, its major causes, its symptoms, and treatment options in 2021. We also want to review what in the world is carpal tunnel syndrome, what are its causes, symptoms, and treatment options. At the end of this brief presentation, my hope is that you will understand the important differences between the two. So let's get started. So what in the world is a tendon? A tendon is illustrated here to the right. is basically a piece of connective tissue that connects bone to muscle. So here illustrated is a muscle and the muscle itself can't connect to the bone. So it's reliant upon this connective tissue right here. And this is actually a wrist tendon. And this was what I will confine this discussion to. So wrist tendons versus carpal tunnel. So a tendon is a simple piece of connective tissue that connects a muscle to a bone. Its function is to move bones and or a joint. And in the wrist itself, there's two major groups, one that uh, extends and ones that flex the actual wrist. So extend and flex. These are known as the flexors and extensors. So tendonitis in its simplest term is simply an inflammation of that tendon. And this is depicted here. You can see the muscle belly comes in and then it becomes the tendon and the tendon itself can become inflamed. And that's what tendonitis is. So what are the major causes of tendonitis? You know, repetitive motion injuries like we all do every single day, either texting or typing, using our hands repetitively. Trauma, those sports injuries, ligament in instability, arthritis, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, all can lead to tendonitis. Diabetes, age over 40. What are the symptoms associated with tendonitis? They're, they're typically pain over the affected tendon. So they're really quite specific. So right here, sometimes I get some tendonitis and sometimes back here. It's very, very specific. It's right along the tendon. And it's pain that is typically worse with activity. And equally important is it just involves one wrist. It's unlikely that it's in both wrists. So tendonitis is an inflammation of the tendon causing pain, typically worse with activity, using involving only one joint. Treatment options in 2021 include conservative therapy, as you can see here. This is quite an aggressive brace in an athlete, but its goal is, is, to, is to rest that tendon, to prevent activity, and in do so healing. When conservative therapy fails, next step oftentimes is your doctor will refer you to a, a doctor for a steroid injections. And steroids are very, very powerful anti-inflammatories. But the bad news is they're toxic. They can actually damage the tendon itself. So it's not a very good option. And then there's surgery, which is rarely used. So let's move on to the next topic, which is carpal tunnel syndrome. This is a painful condition that is a result of compression of the median nerve right here in the wrist. And why this happens, and this is depicted here in this cross section, is the median nerve as it descends from the arm and into the hand has to go through this tight tunnel. And that tunnel is called the carpal tunnel. And it is indeed a tight tunnel. Let's look at what it's composed of. So there are the bones here known as the carpals. And then here are the, the tendons, and there are many tendons. And then in the roof of this tunnel is the transverse carpal ligament. And sandwiched in between all this is this small, delicate nerve that has to go from the forearm and into the hand. And in doing so, it's susceptible to injury. 
So the causes of carpal tunnel syndrome are many. I've categorized them into three major groups. So there's local causes, which include inflammation and trauma, regional causes, arthritis, such as osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and gout. In addition, there can be systemic causes such as diabetes, obesity, pregnancy, and autoimmune disease. Now, the symptoms are very important. In 55 and between 55 and 65 percent of all cases in carpal tunnel, it involves both wrists. That's right, both wrists. And the common denominator in all this is pain and numbness. And oftentimes in clinic, patients complain or they say, you know, if I shake out my hand in the morning, it gets better. And oftentimes patients also complain of some nighttime pins and needles. And the pattern that's most commonly involved is the thumb, index, and third finger, which is illustrated here. Treatment options for carpal tunnel, conservative therapy with rest, non anti-inflammatory medications, oftentimes a splint at night. When these don't work, many doctors refer patients over for a steroid injection, but we know while it's an anti-inflammatory, it can be toxic. And then surgery. The goal of surgery is to release the compression. There are many different techniques, and they all involve cutting the transverse ligament, which again is the roof of the carpal tunnel. So what are the surgical complications? They are infection, nerve damage, instability, failure, and a dreadful uh, nerve condition called complex regional pain syndrome. So this is not a benign procedure, and you need to know there are significant risks when undergoing carpal tunnel surgery. So are there non-surgical effective treatment options? And the answer is absolutely yes. Here at the Centennial Schultz Clinic, we have created what's called a paracutaneous uh, tunnel scar release. And we use this for carpal tunnel. In essence, it's an ultrasound guided injection of PRP around the median nerve, the nerve that's actually being compressed with carpal tunnel syndrome. And why PRP? PRP is rich in growth factors that can promote healing and increase blood flow and decrease inflammation. And here, one of our doctors, Dr. Pitts, who's absolutely amazing, has actually uh, got an ultrasound in his hand and the PRP here, and he's about ready to actually do this percutaneous uh, tunnel scar release. Awesome procedure, and he's a very gifted, talented physician. So wrist tendonitis versus carpal tunnel syndrome. They're distinct clinical conditions that can cause pain and dysfunction in the wrist, but they are different. Here's the summary and the different issues. So with tendonitis, the injury is a tendon, whereas with carpal tunnel syndrome, the injury is on the median nerve. With tendonitis, the site of pain is along the tendon itself, right along here. Whereas with carpal tunnel, you can have it primarily on the palm surface, but it also can involve the hands and fingers. Numbness and tingling is rarely common in tendonitis, but it's very common in carpal tunnel. In terms of clinical presentation, tendonitis usually involves just one wrist, whereas carpal tunnel in 50 to 65% of all cases is actually involving both. It's bilateral. And what are the long-term consequences if left untreated? Well, with tendonitis, if left untreated, it can progress to a tendon tear. In carpal tunnel syndrome, it's much more severe. You can actually get uh, permanent nerve injury and wasting, in other words, atrophy of some of the muscles. And with that, there's quite a bit of disuse of this hand. And then the location is really quite different. Uh, tendonitis is typically on the side or the back side of the wrist, whereas carpal tunnel is typically on the palm side of the wrist, and it involves here and the fingers, the thumb, index, and third finger. So these are two distinct clinical entities that both involve the wrist, 
but have uh, significant differences. What to do next if you or a loved one has tendonitis or carpal tunnel, or a question, maybe you have both, schedule a telemedicine uh, evaluation from the comfort of your house, your beach, your ski chalet, call us. You can also do an in-office evaluation where you will have a very thorough evaluation in addition to an ultrasound evaluation. The goal is here is to avoid long-term consequences. As I said, with tendonitis, it can be a tear of the tendon, but more importantly, with carpal tunnel, you can get permanent nerve injury and uh, compromise of both use and the muscle. So life is rich. Enjoy the majesty that's all out there. Don't get tripped up with the little things. Treat them early on. I hope this was helpful. If you or a family member have carpal tunnel or tendonitis, give us a call. Learn what treatment options are out there so you can avoid surgery. I hope this helped. If you did, share it with others. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you.